There are two new queens taking up residence in London. Queens that are no threat to the British throne, though. As Jeff Semple explains, they're living on the roof of Canada House. Canada's High Commission in London's Trafalgar Square is generating a lot of buzz. As part of the building's recent renovation, they added a new addition to its rooftop, along with some new workers. This is where the queen lays all her eggs, up to 2,000 a day. Two honeybee hives and a bumblebee hotel, home to 100,000 bees. We decided it would be a wonderful thing to have bees on the top of Canada House. Commander Larry Trim has served in the Canadian Navy for 30 years. He can now add head beekeeper to his resume. All we're doing here is uh, keeping the animal, the, the bee colony, alive uh, by checking it each week to make sure it's got enough room to live in and uh, to keep the disease under control. Commander Trim and a dozen other High Commission staff members share the full-time responsibility. Their worker bees now working overtime to prepare for the winter. 100,000 honeybees might seem like a strange pet, but this project is as much about pollination as it is bee preservation. All over the world, bees are dropping like flies. This is what's left of Flower Town bees. Millions were killed just this week at an American bee farm by insecticide used to prevent the spread of the Zika virus. Last winter, more than 10% of the world's bee colonies were wiped out, blamed on pesticides and climate change. London must be one of the high density honey bee areas of England. This British beekeeper says the Canada House hives are ideally located to support bees pollinating in nearby royal parks. I haven't heard of any other uh, embassies with honey uh, hives on their roofs, so I think uh, maybe Canada's setting a bit of a trend here. One of the sweetest perks, the hives have so far produced 60 pounds of honey. I'm just going to get in here. <laughs> a delicious addition to the in-house menu, courtesy of Canada's newest diplomats. Jeff Semple, Global News, London.